Um, okay. Um, hi, everyone. Um, my name is Lentis. I'm from the WeWin uh, Thermal Solution team. Uh, today, I would like to uh, share the uh, 40 year volt immersion cooling solution uh, to you. And we will uh, share the uh, design concept and uh, the specification of this solution. Okay, um, before I start to introduce this solution, uh, I would like to explain why I'm here to deliver this solution. Um, as we know, the ASIC power is getting higher, so we need to provide a solution uh, to meet the fast growing uh, power consumption. And uh, we need to save the power at the same time. And uh, we would also like to uh, contribute the spec and we want to send a message to our uh, ecosystem vendors uh, to increase the interest uh, to develop the commodity and the components for the immersion cooling. So we can work together uh, to define the live reliability. And then we can work together uh, to de design a specific component for immersion cooling. As we mentioned, uh, let's join the uh, advanced cooling group. Yeah. You can check uh, the group uh, by the linkage. Yeah. So um, before I start to introduce this solution, I would like to um, um, introduce the existing cooling solutions. So, yeah. Um, currently, uh, we design the uh, remote thin heat sink to extend the cooling area for the high power CPU. Uh, but we need to uh, reserve the space in the chassis for a remote thin. And then for the higher power density component, uh, we develop the water cooling solution in the chassis. This solution requires the fan, um, require the, the pump, uh, and uh, uh, the water in the chassis. And uh, we also need to reserve the space for the radiator in the chassis. And uh, for the regular liquid cooling, the fan is uh, still required. So for the existing solutions, the cooling fan is required. And uh, because the fan is required, so the data center still need to provide a suitable ambient temperature for the system. And uh, for the cold water, the, the and the cold water is still required because uh, some data centers still need the air conditioning cooled by the cold water. And for the space, we need to reserve the space for the heat sink and reserve the space for the radiator. So we think that in the future for the high power system, uh, we can use the immersion cooling. So, um, I think that you are uh, familiar with the, the, the advantage of the immersion cooling because um, uh, this year many, many uh, people talk about the immersion. So I just want to recap some uh, advantage of the immersion cooling. Uh, for the future high power ASIC, we, I think that it, the immersion cooling can fulfill this solution. It's a, it's a suitable solution because we just need to make sure the liquid can fully cover the motherboard the cooling capability is uh, sufficient. And uh, we have a chance to re remove the fan in the chassis, so the IT cooling power can be reduced. And for this solution, we can use the warm water for cooling, so the data center has a chance to reduce the, the cooling power. And then we don't need to use the heat sink, we can remove the fan, so we can reduce the space and then we can reduce the clearance of the motherboard. We have a chance to increase the density. And the motherboard is immersed into the, the liquid, so no dust, no rust, and the no cooling fan, so no acoustic concern. So when we design this solution, we should focus on the full um, design target. The first is the visibility. We should provide the user a good serviceability. When the user want to service, we, can, we need to provide the service processes effortless. And about the sufficient, sufficient efficiency, we need to provide 
uh, not only the power efficiency, but also the um, not only the cooling efficiency, but also the power efficiency. So we propose to use a 40 level solution. And the safety, the tank, the tank management system should make sure the tank and the motherboard run with safety. And low leakage. As we know, the leakage is a concern. So we need to design a solution with low leakage. In this page, I just uh, show the picture of this solution. Um, Wewin has um, deployed the tank in Wewin's lab, and we have started to run the, run the validation test for this tank with our motherboard. And you also can uh, see the, you also can watch the video in Wewin's booth. So you can come to Wewin's booth to see the video. In this page, I just show the key uh, features of this solution. The footprint is 1.2 by 1.2 meter. The cooling type is two-phase. And the IT power is 60 kilowatt. This is not a cooling capability. This is the IT power capability. The tank can support 100 nodes. And the, the, currently, we use the OCP motherboard tailgun pass. We put 100 tailgun pass in this tank. And the power delivery system is 48 volt by power bus bar. And the tank also can support four switch slots. Okay. In this page, I just show the cartridge design. Cartridge is used to fix the motherboard. So we put two motherboard face to face in one cartridge. The cartridge thickness is um, lower than 1.5 U. And we, we did not do any modification for the motherboard. We just put the 48 volt to 12 volt power transition board for each motherboard. So when you want to do a service, you just need to pull out the cartridge vertically and then replace a new one. So in this page, I show the top view of this tank. Um, this is a tank top view. So there are five columns, and each column has 10 cartridges. So the 50 cartridges can support 100 tail pass nodes. And then you can see there are four switch start in the rear side. This is a simple um, video to show the liquid boiling in the tank. Okay, so in this page, I would like to uh, show the power delivery solution. Um, this is the real side of the tank. There are two power shelves to support 60 kilowatt. And uh, we separate the main bus bar to five branch. The bus bar is in the bottom side of the tank. So each bus bar can support 10 cartridges or 20 tail pass nodes. So the power delivery is to, uh, from the power bus bar to the motherboard, motherboard by the bus bar clip. The design is the same as current uh, air cooling rack. In this, in this page, I, want, I would like to share the advanced condenser design. There are two condensers, the primary and the secondary condenser, to supply 100 kilowatt. The two condensers has the individual water loop. So as we know, uh, the vapor leakage is a concern. So um, when the user want to, uh, to do a service, when the top list is open, the tank management system will trigger the force convection to let the vapor come to the condenser. So when user open the top lid, the, the tank will keep the vapor in the tank. 
So the solution can reduce the vapor leakage. And then we also design the tank management system. So when we design the tank management, we should follow the four, or we should have the four functions. The first is the safety and the cooling control. The tank management system need to make sure the tank and the motherboard run with safety. And the tank management system also need to support the power management if you want to do the power capping. And it also can support on the node management and the interface. Currently, the rig management system, uh, the tank management system can support uh, the Redfish-based API for the DCIM and the web-based GUI for user. So we know that the, the safety is the most important thing. So we put a lot of sensor in this tank of temperature, humidity, the liquid level, pressure, filter, and the power management system. So the tank management can monitoring and reporting the status. And we have two levels of warning, warning and critical. And the tank management need to control uh, some active parts. In the following page, I will show you uh, the active parts that can be controlled by the tank management. On this page, I would like to introduce the tank controller. Uh, there are four active parts can be controlled. The water valve, relief, pressure relief valve, and the advanced condenser and the power system. So in this page, I show the sensors which can, um, the, the tank controller can get a reading from the sensors and the control active part. For example, the, if the temperature is very, very high, the controller can increase the open ratio of the water valve. And if the pressure is very, very high, the controller can trigger the relief valve. And as I mentioned, if you want to do a service, the controller will trigger the advanced condenser. And if the, the liquid level is very, very low and the pressure is high, the tank controller need to shut down the tank and shut down the motherboard. And we will also design a user interface for the tank management. So uh, in the front service of the tank, we have the touch panel with a friendly user interface. And the user can control the tank uh, by uh, your cell phone, your tablet or your notebook by a wireless control. So um, you can access the engineering mode or to get all the sensor reading. And you also can access the uh, administration mode or to change the threshold to control the active parts manu manually. In this page, I just want to show a simple case for the service ability. When user want to do a service, you can give the command to the tank management, or you just need to sweep the, the touch panel, and uh, it will trigger the advanced condenser. And the tablet will open, and then you can re remove the cartridge and replace a new one. And then just need to swipe the screen and the lid will be closed. So in this page, I want to recap uh, the feature of this solution. Uh, we have a chance to reduce the cooling power, so uh, the PoE number will be better. And uh, the power delivery system is 48 volts, so we have a chance to increase the power efficiency. And we have the advanced condenser. It can support uh, the, the vapor leakage elimination. <coughs> and the lid is, uh, the top lid is automatic. 
and we have a friendly user interface. So we can support easy serviceability. And the tank management system can make sure the tank and the motherboard run with safety. And it also can support the communication to DCIM and the user. And then we use the uh, OCP motherboard to the pass. This is a field prove motherboard. In this page, I just show the tank specification. The item is uh, correlated to the uh, OCP subproject, uh, immersion cooling subproject. So you can um, get the definition of each item uh, in this link. So you should join this. So on this page, I uh, show the, uh, our plan for the immersion queen development. Um, last year, we have the POC for the Tioga Pass, and we also have the uh, POC for the Olympus motherboard. And then this year, uh, we deployed the 100 node tank with 48 volt power delivery solution in WeWin. And the currently, we are running some validation tests. And then in this Q3, we will share the white paper to share our test result. And then we also have the plan to contribute the spec in this year. And the next year, we plan to have the tank next gen. And then we think that in the future, we will have the optimized motherboard for the immersion cooling because currently we need to consider the, the airflow for the motherboard. We need to enlarge the, the dim pitch to consider the airflow. So in the future, we don't need to consider the, the large dim pitch. We can use a small dim pitch, and then we just need to consider the layout limitation. So we can use a smaller ball with a higher power for immersion cooling. Yeah. Call to action. So um, please join this group, work together for this technology. And, uh, um, we can share the, the, the white paper and we can contribute the spec. And uh, uh, please work uh, together to develop the commodity and component for immersion cooling. So let's work together. Thank you. This is my presentation. Yeah. Did I see correctly that the power shelf is not a must? Um, it's not a must because you can use the other power solution. Yeah, currently we use the power shelf because we have the power shelf in our in our in, in our company. This is off shelf solution. So we put the power shelf on the tank. You can use other solutions. But the power shelf, why is it not inside the liquid? Yeah, because you want to reserve the space for the motherboard, we want to enlarge the motherboard quantity. But yeah. the power supplies also, re also reject a lot of energy. Yeah. So is that going to the air? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Any question? Thank you.